Okay, hey guys, what is going on? My name is Elsie Zonda and welcome to another commentary, basically. Um, this one right here is my next kind of episode in my school streak series, so to speak. And in this one, I attempt to get a, uh, a visa, which, um, if you don't know what it is, that is the big kind of thing in the sky, or out of the sky, in the atmosphere, I'm guessing. Um, basically a satellite, which basically tells you exactly where each person is, uh, like a UAV, but it said it doesn't blip, it is a constant UAV, basically, which uh, tells you which direction the players are facing, basically represented by the little arrows on the mini-map, they come up as a red mini-arrow, and it basically shows every single bit of detail about them, where they're facing and where they're constantly moving. So, to be honest, it's probably one of the best, well, it is, no doubt about it, it is the best score streak, uh, well, support score streak, uh, available on Black Ops 2. Uh, it was also available on Black Ops 1 under the name Blackbird, I do believe, and I'm not sure if they had one on Modern Warfare 3 or if Blackbird was the one on Modern Warfare 3. I don't really know and I don't really care. Um, but um, this this one right here, this game, I this is a very quick game. It is on Team Deathmatch. Um, I was playing and I found it a kind of um, a kind of fun little game to go along with, playing with a group of friends online, a few fans, etc, etc, etc. And I generally found it an alright gameplay, so I thought, you know what, I'll use this one as my VSAT gameplay, it weren't too bad, and uh, hopefully I can do something interesting over the top about it. Um, so basically, in this game, I am running my favourite, my awesome class, which is the MAA-1, which is a triple uh, fire weapon, which basically fires a free bullet burst. Um, I am running the lightning strike, the stealth chopper, and of course, the VSAT, the big orbital VSAT, whatever satellite thing you want to call it. Um, but anyway, as you see, the lightning strike doesn't do greatly. But um, hopefully, we can build ourselves up, and we'll go for the stealth chopper, and then obviously we call him the Almighty VSAT. And um, trust me, that thing, that thing does well. It does nice. Um, as you can see, with this gun, I'm running the usual that you've seen in my previous score streak videos. The um, the silenced uh, MAA1. Uh, the silencers on this game do uh, bump down the ac well, not not the accuracy, but the power ridiculous amounts of this game. As you see, I just called it my stealth chopper, which now is going to come in and obliterate. Um, this is a great little um, kind of kind of score streak system to run, because they really do kind of bounce off each other quite well. You've got the lightning strike first of all, which is quite an easy score streak to get to. It's only a, it's only a five or six kills, probably not even that. I'm not really too sure. Uh, you, you get there very quickly, and... Um, it's easily done. And then obviously the stealth chopper is a beast for getting you some points. 25 points a kill it is very, very handy. And as you see how quickly that brought in my visa. And now let's just get ready for this game to be obliterated. As soon as you get this epic score streak, you know where every single person is on that. But it's not like a UAV where you have to chance it and guess where each person is at each point. You are literally sorted. And as you see there, someone found me with a target finder. It's like, I freaking hate those things. I'm not that great at using them. And whenever people use them and see me quite easily, um, ugh, it annoys me so much. But uh, that doesn't really matter too much. Um, as you can see, this is quite a short gameplay. We're already coming. It's like a minute left of the gameplay. Um, it was only a very short one. Team Deathmatch, obviously, is a big big concern on this game. Um, it's in ground war which really really makes it harder for uh, getting game players and such because the games are over so quickly. 100 kills between a team is stupidly low. It's, <laughs> it's barely any kills at all. Please whoever does all this stuff I've tweeted all the Black Ops people, and I know a lot of other YouTubers have as well. But please remove TDM. It is awful. Oh, you, if they could replace it with just Hardpoint, or maybe even more Domination, it would be great. Just anything in general. Um, I know personally think they should bump up a uh, Kill Confirmed up to 150, or maybe even 200 for Ground War games. Uh, I think Ground War personally f should be double everything, as it is such a big game, and it should be a lot more a lot more points going into it which would really make for some more exciting bigger gameplays going on but uh, as you can see guys this game is running up right to the end now um, I'm not too sure if I die at this point or in fact the game might even be over there we go that's 100 kills you see how quickly that went which is a bit of a shame for a grand war game but I went 20 to 1 which isn't bad at all with a nice 20 uh, kill death ratio getting in the VSAT just to show you guys how easy it is and obviously the VSAT gets you loads of points as well because it gets you assists uh, each time someone gets a kill when you've got a VSAT on you get an assist which is great so there we go guys 20 to 20 kills to one death thank you very much guys i hope you have enjoyed this video i'll see you guys later